Hello Stormwater Designers and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education videos. Today we're continuing our series with EPA Swim, modeling EPA Swim. We've got about 20 other lessons involving EPA Swim, how to use it, where to download it, running models. So if you want to see that, we have a playlist of that. You're going to want to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like that. However, in this video we're going to build a model from scratch using custom time series data. We're going to have multiple subcatchments. It's going to be a more complex project. I'm going to build it right in front of you. So let's just get started here. I'm going to start with a rain gauge element. So rain gauge plus is how we add it. Okay, I've got my rain gauge now. Now I want to add three different subcatchments to this project here. Let's do another one. Okay, finally the last one. So I've got three subcatchments here. Next, I want to start adding some junctions. And then I'm going to add an outfall. Now let's figure out how to connect these here. So we're going to connect these using uh, links, conduits. I'm going to join these together. Building out my model first, then we'll see how the rain gauge data works here. Okay, and then remember with these subcatchments, I want to route them out to these different junctions here. So the outlet for this one's going to be junction four. Good. This one is going to be five. And this one I actually want to go to six. Okay, so we've got that routed correctly now. I want to modify my subcatchments though. So my subcatchment, this one's going to have an area of 50. The width is fine. The slope is fine for me. I'm going to make this percent impervious 10. Uh, these end values all work for me here. For this subcatchment, this one's going to have more impervious area. So that's going to be 50%. Area is going to uh, remain five. That looks good. Then this one's going to have eight area. 15% impervious and a 0.5% slope. Okay, so that's my subcatchment setup. Now let's set up the junctions. I want to have an invert elevation of 30 for this one and max depth of three. And then they're going to slope downward. So invert elevation 28, max depth three again, 26, max depth three, 24. And then this one will have 22 for the outfall. Okay, so our model's set up. We need to set up this rain gauge data though. So if we go to time series right here, we're gonna add a time series. Now we're gonna wanna do this in 15 minute intervals. So hour would be zero. The value is gonna be zero at zero. Next, 15 seconds. I'm gonna make the value five. And we're gonna make this a total of two hours, eight, 11, then one hour. It's gonna to start to decrease. And this is a completely random time series, by the way, or just what I'm putting in for this model. This isn't like exact or anything like that. Two and then at two hours. This is just for an example here. Okay, I'm gonna name this time series one. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go here and for time series for series name, I'm gonna go with time series one. The time interval is 15 seconds and then it's gonna go for two hours. So I have my custom time series set up. Theoretically, this project should run now. Okay, so it appears I forgot to set uh, my rain gauge for my subcatchments. That's an easy fix right there. I'm going to put in one. Now it should run. There we go. We got a negative 0.12% surface runoff 
and a flow routing to negative 0.02% continuity error. Not bad, not bad. So that's how we set up a custom project in EPA Swim. If you have any questions about that, leave it in a comment down below. If there's any videos you'd like to see, you can also leave that in a comment down below. Anyways, we will see you guys next time.